Hey guys, welcome to the 31st part in this Python series for beginners and in this one we're going to be taking a look at the OS module. So the OS module is going to be used to interface with the operating system. As the name might suggest, OS is short for operating system. So we're going to interact with the operating system in Python. So to do that, if you look at my screen, we're just going to go ahead and import OS, which is the name of the module that we're using, and I'm going to go ahead and get the directory that we're working in currently. So to do that we can do os dot get working directory or current working directory. So you can see we're in users YouTube documents. They're the fol that's the folder that I'm in at the moment. And what I want to do is change that so that I can make that the desktop folder. So what I could do is I'm gonna say the new path so I want to change this path and I'm going to define that as a variable new path. So I'm going to say os.path.join, and I'll explain what join is in a second. Uh, the current working directory, which is just os.get current working directory, which is what we had here, but it just returns this path. And then join takes two parameters. So we're going to do the second one as just a string and I'm going to do dot dot forward slash desktop. So what that does is I can just print out new path and you can see it's generated this path so it's just joined the two together. But what's good about join is say you have a path like this what what is returned by the current working directory at this stage in the program so in this case it's my documents folder here and I just added a string to it, I added a string that is, it just happens to be a path, but what join does is, you might notice, it's got an extra slash here, and if I hadn't used this join method, that wouldn't have worked it out that it needed a slash there, so this path would be wrong if I'd have just added the two together, for example. So the join method is a good way of taking out that ambiguity or that sort of guessing whether you need that extra slash in there or not because it's important to have one and not zero and not two which is very easy to do if you're not entirely sure you know if you remember to put a slash on the end of one of the paths for example so with that said we can do os.getWorkingDirectory again and we can see that it's not changed so the reason for that is we haven't actually changed the path yet we've just created a variable with the path that we want to change into in it. So the way that we actually change the path is we're going to do os.chdir which is short for change directory and all I'm going to do is pass in that new path variable that we created. So now if we do os.get current working directory you can see that we're in the desktop folder. So from here we could do some other things as well so let's just create a folder. So we could do os make directory and we can do the folder name which goes in the in the parentheses there so now you can see in the desktop we have an empty folder so that's really really cool and it's a good way of being able to interface with the operating system it's one of the more common uses for this module so there's a few other things we can do in relation to that like for example if I wanted to rename it in the operating system I could do that but I can do that in Python as well, so I could do os.rename and then I just say the name of the old folder, so this is hello and I could rename it to goodbye just like that, now it's changed to goodbye so now what we can also do is we could do os.makeders and the difference between makeders and mcdir is makeder is going to be able to generate folders within folders so we could do one slash two slash three slash four and it's going to create one and then two and then three and then four so it's it's able to create those parent directories which mcdir which mcdir the short version is not so that's the sort of difference between mcdir and makeders the short and the longer version and that's sort of the same for removing a directory as well so we could do os dot rmdir which is going to remove a single directory and we could just remove this goodbye folder 
and now that's just disappeared because we've just removed it from the desktop folder. So there are a couple of other things that I wanted to show you in Python. So the first one is we can just do dir os and I want to do this because OS is a surprisingly big module in Python because it has a lot of functionality that you know is a lot more than a lot of other modules in Python. So we can do dir to show the directory so everything we've got access to in this module and there's tons and tons of methods here and I can't possibly cover all of them in this video. Just for example we've got path which has a lot of methods inside of it which I've shown some like path.join and other things like that. So we could do os.get working current working directory and that gives us the path that we path that we've seen before. And what we can do is os.path.base name and then we have to pass in the path as a parameter and I'm just going to do that again and so that gives us the final part of the path so it could be the folder or the file that it's pointing to and if you want the other side of that we also have os.path.dername so like the directory name which basically is everything else so we could do that and we still have to pass in the path so then we get users forward slash YouTube because it's the rest of this path going back that way. So they're just a few of the most commonly used methods to do with the OS module and they can be really really powerful to do low level things with the operating system but what we're going to be talking about in the next video is something a little bit different but still related to the modules that are built into Python and that's the JSON module.